Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Classic Who reaction. We are on to The Seeds of Doom Part 3. Um, could we all please say hello to Dog? He has made an appearance before but he just wanted to be here today. Sometimes like, I get an idea in my head and then I've just said that out loud to you and I've just thought, I'm putting this out to the world. I'm a 20 something year old woman, late 20s dressing up her cuddly toy in my favourite Beauty and the Beast outfit and my glasses. But this is mini, this is mini MC, you know? Uh, if you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining. So I'm really intrigued to see what happens. So the last episode ended with the Big Bang, not literally the Big Bang, but a Big Bang. Um, and I suspect that we will be heading back to Earth just because I, that's the whole Antar Antarctic base blown up. How Sarah Jane and the Doctor survive, I don't know, but um, they do. Um, so let's go. Doctor, where's the Doctor? It's all right, I'm a Doctor, Doctor Chester. Look, we have to no, take care of you. No, don't you don't worry. understand. He's going to reach the camp. We've got to find him. Doctor, no, hang on. It's no, easy. Doctor. Take Oh. Help me. Help me. She's alive. Good morning. It was destroyed. But we had to blow the whole place to smithereens, plus everyone in it. What a pity. I could have had two pots. Well, you've got one. Now, Mr. Dunbar. I'll come in, Dunbar. It's all right. These are the two men who brought back the pod. Greed, the most dangerous impulse in the universe. Do you realize? Do you, do you realize that on this planet the pod is unique? I use the word with precision. Unique. And to some people, its uniqueness makes it valuable at any cost. You make these two mystery men sound like fanatics. Fanatics. Tell, tell, you tell what, him. What you tell him. him. These two mystery men had everything planned. Great word, fanaticism. Look, I was there. We were nearly killed. Because of this. Both of you. Are you both listening to me? I think they were dangerous. But they were stooges. Do you know what? I always knew Sarah Jane and this doctor were great. But the brain of Morbius and then this story has really pushed their relationship to me. They, they just bounce off each other. I love his attitude. Doctor? Yes. This car was ordered for you, sir. Good. What do you want about that pot? Oh, bloody hell. What's going on? It's like an inferno with the car crash. Oh. Oh! We're in a nice deserted place, Doctor. Who do you work for? Both of you. Out. This side. Or they should have taken the car. As if you'd go down. Go on, Doctor. Miss Bouquet. I can't find all the children's. I darked about it to catch it at sunrise. We are trying to trace the I love her house. Isn't it yours? No. We found it in a car boot. A car boot? A Daimler car boot. The car is immaterial. The driver wasn't. He tried to kill us. Can you remember who bought this particular pet? That's right. Chase, of course. 
Harrison chased them in there. Good Lord, he never paid me. Cheap fate. No, no, the x rays don't show any signs of activity. We so must have give up, Keeler. He looks a bit like Postman Pat like that, doesn't he? They've filmed at this location before, right? Oh my gosh, I love these grounds though. Well, if they're being executed, then he might as well let them see the pod. Then Hargreaves is going to appear and something's going to happen with the pod, right? My Requiem. My Floriano Requiem. I shouldn't get too close. It can't be any danger yet. It's going to open up. Alien. More nitrogen. No, I don't think that would be wise, Mr. James. I make the decisions. Inject another 15 grams. Is he doing this purely because he really loves plants? I, I don't... I don't understand why you would be so obsessed with this... with this pod. Oh my god, I actually thought he'd just broken his neck. I love that she just goes with it. She's just so... I don't know, she's just so open to adventure. Yeah, but they're a couple of idiots, so she can, she can escape them. Bloody hell, that made me jump. That's the first time I've had like a jump scare in ages. It's like waiting for a time bomb to explode. It's going to come out of the pod. Oh, the doctor's going to see her. Oh, God. Remove the coat. Sit down. 
Oh, I love her outfit. Miss Smith will be our subject. Like so. No! <laughs> Fetch some clamps, killer. You can't, it's inhuman. I don't care. I must know what happens when the crinoid touches human flesh. Okay, so I remember someone saying that part that the part three of a story is normally the weakest or sometimes the weakest. And actually I would agree with that generally. But this part was incredible. Um, I absolutely love Sarah Jane and the Doctor together. They have this real need for each other. Um, they, as I said in the last story, they need each other as much as... They need each other just as much as each other. That doesn't even make sense, but I know what I'm trying to say. Um, the Doctor's sassiness and little bit of attitude is just something I really relate to because I just feel like that's the kind of Doctor I'd be. Um, I loved it when he was with Sarah Jane. He's like, tell them. And they, I just don't know, they're just so good together. Uh, I love the setting. I love a good historical stately home and with grounds like that so where this place is, is has been shot is amazing i do i feel like we've been here before it may be that it's just similar to another location but i do feel like we've been at this location before sarah jane's outfit's great i i i would expect this is going to end up being more than four parts just because i feel like th there's a lot that could happen the villains in this as well are solid. You know, I think a lot of the time um, you can have you can have um, a story, but certain actors and actresses let it down. Right? You could have actually quite a good story, but the acting in it isn't great. And actually, in this. It's really got this, like, not that I've ever seen a Bond film, but you know that real villain element? I, it, it's just, um, it just takes it that little bit to that other level. I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. And I will be back very soon with another reaction.